morning, I'm Pat Boland, and this is Money World, a program that's about cold, hard cash. It's only one word to describe the recent trend in the stock market, and that word is capricious. All right, there are two words to describe the recent trend in the stock market, capricious and volatile. Well, three if you count unpredictable. Okay, topsy-turvy also works, but I'm not sure if that counts as one word or two. Also, a phlegmatic and dipsomonious. So you see, there are many words to describe the recent trend in the stock market. <laughs> Joining me to discuss these trends is my guest, stock trader Dorothy Gallet. Well, Pat, people have the wrong idea about what goes on here at the stock exchange. Then it's not a bunch of immoral, ruthless, greedy predators trading on fear. Pat, people have the right idea about what goes on here at the stock exchange. Now, Dorothy, is there reason for the public to be concerned? Absolutely not. Investors must remain calm and not jump on any little market change. Dow Jones up 50 points. Yes! <laughs> now, Dorothy, can you explain how you make money playing the stock market? The only sure way is to find a trader who's knowledgeable on various exchanges like the NASDAQ. And what exactly is the NASDAQ? Nobody knows. <laughs> Dorothy, can you take us through the typical day of a trader? Oh, certainly. The day starts off far too early. Then the bell goes off and the trading starts. There's a lull. And then panic. Why are they selling that stock? What's going on? What do they know? Then reason. But it doesn't last! <laughs> what went wrong? <laughs> and then you realize it's all a plot, a sneaky organized plot. But it won't work because I have the power to buy out of it. <laughs> I deal and I trade, oh, and I'm on top and I'm in control. I deal the crash, tumbling prices, loss of confidence. What to do? A sudden rally, another dip, up, down, up, down, buy, sell, buy, sell. I don't know what to do. It's so much, I can't take it anymore. And the day's ending. And a good thing, too. I'm Pat Bowen for Money World. Good day and good morning.